Christine McClarty is in downtown Gulfport right now. She's been checking in with local businesses, how they're handling the storm. And Christine, it was interesting. I saw you a short time ago. Many businesses have shut down for the evening, but you're finding some that are remaining open. That's right. We are finding one that is having a quote unquote hurricane party, making the best of this situation, saying they want to weather the storm together with the community. Now, right this second, we are in front of Boca Ciega Bay. You can see the pier just off to my right. And I want to take you over this way to my left and you can see the dark street. This is where a lot of restaurants and businesses are. Usually this street is booming, but right now quite dark. The one business that is still open is Oh Maddie's Bar and Grill. We talked with a lot of folks who chose to come here and and right out the storm, they still wanted to come out and have a few drinks and have some dinner. Uh, still wanted to be part of a community as opposed to sitting in their home. And they also were excited to come and watch the storm come in is what they said. And the, the folks who work at Omadis, of course, were excited that, that it are, there are a lot of people that are coming in. Uh, they say that they will continue to stay open, but they're going to stay with eight on your side and keep watching the news come in to see if they need to change their plan. They say they usually stay up until about 3 a.m., but they might close sooner because I did tell them that the biggest impact of the storm is supposed to happen tonight between 11 p.m. and 3 a.m. So they said they're just going to play it by ear and see how things go. Reporting live in Gulfport for now, Christine McClarty, 8 on your side. The storm surge is really one of the main concerns right. as we get high tide high through tide. these areas on the coastal communities. So while it may seem like nothing worse than a summer thunderstorm, they could be for in for some more significant impacts as the night wears on. Especially those folks there who are hanging out and deciding they're going to leave maybe before it gets, it may be too late. You might yeah. need to hunker down where you are because yeah. you get out there, you can't see necessarily where driving flooding has occurred. You, you, you right, run right into trouble. Are rough.